Hey guys, it's Matt here, and today we're going to be compiling Python on Ubuntu. Let's go ahead and get started. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the source code from this address at python.org. Um, so a reason that you would need to do this per se is maybe your Python got messed up somewhere and you just need to reinstall it, but maybe you don't want to just install it the normal way. Um, I ended up having a problem, like I couldn't get Tkinter to work. Um, so I had to uh, get the source and compile it, and then Tkinter worked, which, if you don't know, is uh, a way of creating a GUI in Python. But so you're gonna want to just download this, or at least this is the one that I downloaded. And now we're gonna head to the terminal. Now we're gonna cd into the directory. This is wherever you saved it to. I'm just gonna cd here, and if you look, I opened a file from the directory, um, the README file. From here, it's a few simple commands. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start by dot slash configure. Press enter. And now this will go ahead and make sure everything works. Um, so this is really uh, simple. Now when you're doing this, it might say you need to install something called pip or pip-tools. Just go ahead and install it by sudo apt-get install pip or pip tools, whatever it asks for. Um, that's just needed for Python. Um, so yeah, anything it needs you to download, just go ahead and su simply sudo apt-get install download, unless it tells you to uh, do something else. But this will take a few minutes. Altogether, it takes about 20 minutes uh, when all four commands are done and set. So it's, uh, it's a little while, but it's uh, really worth it, you know, if something's not working, it's it's really uh, good. You could actually go and look at all of the files. If you go and look at everything, it's a bunch of like .c and .o files, but, uh, yeah. So, this will be done soon, hopefully. And so, you after this, you'll simply do make, make test, sudo make install. And it's really as simple as that. You will have compiled Python for your Ubuntu operating system. And of course, you can always go and mess with the code because it is open source. Um, so, uh, I guess that is it, guys. Uh, quick little video on how to compile Python. But uh, without further ado, uh, thank you guys for watching. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, peace.